Thanks for joining us on Golf Pass here to earn your extra credit. I'm Blair O'Neill alongside the professor, Martin Hall, and we're talking about maximizing distance. Well, we are. We're going to talk about the lead wrist, and, and, and one rule before we get into that is um, when you're doing the pivot drill I did in the show, make sure you don't have a sharp wrist watch band on because you might actually yes. cut your trail wrist, which I did, so I won't be doing that again. <laughs> anyway, three lead wrist rules, lead wrist, lead hand. EFT, extension flexion throw, EFT. Now, the extension is that's a wrist that's in extension. If I show my close-up camera, that's a wrist that's in extension. That's a wrist that's in flexion. That's a wrist that's in extension. That's a wrist that's in flexion. That's a wrist that's throwing, as if you were sort of throwing a frisbee, maybe. So extension, flexion, throw, if you want to maximize your distance. Extension, because if you take a fairly strong grip, which I think for most of us is so important, you will have extension in the lead wrist. Now, Bryson DeChambeau is the anomaly, because he has a very weak grip, hits the ball colossal distance, is a very weak grip, which for 99% of golfers would be no good at all, and he has no extension in his wrist. I like to see extension in the wrist because it creates a strong grip, extension at the setup. I like to see when someone finishes the backswing, flexion in the lead wrist, which is flat, and then as you're coming down, maybe even bowing the lead wrist a little bit, so when it's there, do you see how the face is down at the ground a bit there, Blair? Yes. That's flexion, that's a strong club face. So I've gone from extension, I've gone to flexion, and then the bit through the hitting area would be, it's okay to let that happen through the hitting area. Not only is it okay, that's probably not well said by me, it's advisable, it's preferable. You don't want to feel you drag the club head too long because you've got to let the energy get out there. Okay. So three pieces there, extension, you do that in your setup. Flexion, you do it there. Now just feel you throw the club head and it's very much okay for the lead wrist to move that way through the hitting area. So okay. the extension is putting a strong grip in so that we can use the body a lot. Flexion is bowing the wrist somewhere between the top and delivery and throwing it through the hitting area. Yeah. You extended, you flexed, you threw it. Now you've got to get in your golf cart and take a very long That's drive true. to catch up with that <laughs> one because you really pulverized that one. I'm out of here. <laughs> yes, you are. Good tip there, Martin. And for more great tips like this, make sure to watch School of Golf Monday nights, 7 Eastern.